It's Project at the Sit Down Interview at Studio Plug Memphis. Let's go, ho. Talking this shit and I'm walking about it. I'm catching number flies. I ain't friendly with none you niggas, cuz I'm not a family guy. Not a family. Hey, what it do? It's your guy, Track Addict. And this is another sit down at Studio Plug Memphis with my guy, Project. Project, what's up? It's me. I'm on this home. Project, man. Glad to have you here, man. Uh -huh. So, first things first, why that name? Project R. Shout out to Looney, bitch, if you got there. My name is Project, but you just call me Project. I got my name from my truck. From your truck? Yeah. My first car. My first car ever. That's where I got my name from. Break it down for us. Tell us. What you mean? Because I just got my first car, and I don't want it to be a girl car. Mm. Like, this was going to be booty. So, I came up with the name Project. And I was the R. So that's where it came from. But, you know, I'm really giving kudos, you know, to one of the rappers from my city out there. Okay, dope, dope. So, man, for, before we get into the rest of the interview, you can go anywhere in the world. I want you to tell me where you want to go and then clap three times and we're going to take you there. Okay. I want to go to Idaho. All right. So, Project, how long you been doing music? I've been doing music for like uh, a long time. It's like I've been doing it for a long time. Since 2016. About 16, 17 years? 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, yeah. 8, 8 years. So what made you want to do music? Because I'm a Reggie, ho. <laughs> I'm a Reggie. I'm, I'm Reggie. I'm Reggie. I'm Reggie. And you like, let me, let me put it on, yeah, put it on the beats. Yeah, type of thing. Yeah, yeah. And I just been doing it because I like to keep up with it. I do. What happened at, at the point you decided you wanted to pursue a music career? Well, I uh, paid attention to the fact that I always used to be on stage growing up. Like, that was just, I was just the e-boy when it came to uh, spotlights, camera, and action. So... But I never paid attention that I was supposed to do music. I used to, you know how you just go with the little routine. You sing in the choir. You uh, you do a little dance team. I did all that. So. Okay. So you was a center of attention. You were like, let me let me take it a little further with my own career. Yeah. Gotcha. Well, gotcha. Not, why not Great music? Attention. I just got to talk my shit. Got to talk music. shit. Yeah. Okay, okay. What would you call your music style? Damn. Uh... Memphis. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. It's Memphis. It is. Yeah. yeah. Um, is there any artists out there you can compare yourself to? Hold up. No. I can't. But it's Memphis in the way of, uh, like, I just put me first when I do it. How I look at a lot of things that I do. So, it's kind of like when... When it comes to rapping, I don't know, cause I'm kind of different with being an artist. Mm -hmm. Cause it's more than just uh, doing making your own songs, as well as you know, venting type of thing. Yeah, what is it for you? It's like a diary, a like diary. a little yeah, like a little diary, little cute, little cute little thing that I did just to like stay young. Yeah. Cause I'm, cause in the gay world, and look, in the gay world, it's totally different. Mm -hmm. It's like, uh, if this is my age, you'll be considered old. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's your age, yeah. You consider yeah. old. Yeah. How old are you? I'm 25. 25. Yeah. So you you old in the gay world. <laughs> I'm old in the gay world. <laughs> wow. But you hear it all here on uh, the sit down the studio plug, Memphis. Yeah. We in here today with Project. Yeah, what's up? Play with it. Uh, Even on that beach. <laughs> what are, What are some of your favorite artists that you listen to? Denise Williams, you know that. That's the artist. Okay. The name of the song was uh, "Free." So your favorite artist right now is Denise Williams. Who I'm influenced by right now? Who I'm like? Yeah, like okay. it, yeah. You got any other influences? Uh, Prince. Prince. Mm -hmm. Why you like Prince? Cause he's such a light skin boy. <laughs> <laughs> he was considered a light skin boy. 
can you break that down anymore or we just gonna leave it like that? Oh. The way he was just flamboyant yeah. with himself. Um but it was it was also about talent. So I understood why he had the persona of a prince. Mm -hmm. Because just the way, you know, you know, what he was made to be, you know, people grow up like that. Like it's yeah. what people grow you up to be. So yeah. Prince just carried it, you know. I know he made some good yeah. music. Hell yeah. So let me ask you this. If you could pick one person in music to work with, who would you pick and why? Damn. Um, one person in music, I would consider their producer wise. Uh, could be anybody, artist, like a feature with an artist, or a producer you want to work with, like, you know, it could be anybody. Who, who would you pick if you could pick one person? Damn. Oh, good question, eh? It is, <laughs> cause I would wanna, um, I would wanna do the basic thing is try to search for a hit. But I, um, gotta pick now. Three seconds. Take Keith. Take Keith. Take Keith. Okay, okay. <laughs> Take Keith. I feel that. <laughs> Who must definitely work with him? Uh, other musician wise, Flo Millie. Flo Millie? Yeah. Why Flo Millie? She's, she's the juice. She's yeah. the juice, yeah. That's the juice right there. Okay. That's, that's, that's like a cool girl to be in. Cause she, she ain't seeing me, you fuck. <laughs> you got shit on me, Flo Millie. <laughs> You would not not be. <laughs> I can't make this up. No, I'm for no. <laughs> Man, if you uh, just tuned in, this is a sit down interview with the homie project. Yeah. You never know what he might say. You never know. Never know. Shout out to project by Studio Plug Mimics. Y'all tap in, get what your the fuck? Yes. All right. What do you think about Memphis music? What what come to your mind when you think of Memphis music? That's the pill to swallow. Um, I would say so. So, I would say so. So, mm -hmm. so music. Yeah. And because it could it could vary, it can vary, it could vary. Like, cause we have so many different flavors. Mm -hmm. We be having so many different flavors, so it's not really. What do you think about the current state of Memphis and the, and how we impacted the culture? We everywhere when you look at it. Yeah. Lord Harvey, to be exact. Like. <laughs> what do you think about the current state of Memphis, like as far as the crime? And think we're getting better, or you get think we're getting worse? Ooh, Jesus. <laughs> Is that too deep for you? It is. Maybe I shouldn't ask any goddamn. You know, my teeth ain't done to be talking shit like this. <laughs> I don't think I, I don't want to say nothing. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Uh, we go. We go. Keep that. We go. Keep that one for the people watching. Y'all. Y'all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, drop a comment. Let us yeah. know what y'all think about the current state of Memphis and the crime. Is we improving? Is it getting better? Is it getting worse? Y'all. Y'all drop your comments below. Let me know. You know what I'm saying. Answer this for Project. He, he gonna. He gonna. And please. Out. Reach I don't out wanna. Uh, <laughs> he gonna reach out on this one. Oh, that's funny. Damn. You got any current music or videos out that people can go check out? I do have upcoming music coming up, so uh, in the meantime, go bump Nutty Buddy and Hi Hi Are You on Apple Music, okay? What they need to look up? Uh, Project R, this it, P-R-R-O-J-E-C-T-R-T-V on YouTube. This on YouTube. Go look me up on YouTube. If it's not that, I'm on Instagram, but I'm most definitely on Twitter for the girls out there that just 
you know, be had with the birds. Uh, is there any local artist that you would love to work with that you've been watching? Yeah. Uh, Lil Chick. Lil Chick. Yeah, yeah. I think you told me uh, your favorite album of all time was Lil Chick. What? Tell me about that. What album was that? That is, that, that's like uh, Murder She Spoke. Murder She Spoke. Yeah. Produced by DJ Paul and Juicy J. Look, that's one of the staples of the faggots in the city. If you don't listen to no Lil Chad, then you just ain't, you ain't that girl. That's right. pretty much how I look at it. Because Lil Chad, she was, because she's short, <laughs> you would expect her to be like that. You know what I'm saying? So. Hey, shout out to Lil Chad. She cool, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, she real, like, down to earth. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, Chad way. As long as you on the good side. Yeah. Yeah, but she always had bars. You're right. That, that, yeah. that album is a classic. Cause she she'll jump on there with a dude, and her burst to be hard. Oh, yeah. Come, oh, it be tougher than the it be tougher than the niggas. I got an example. Do you want me? Do you want me give an example? <laughs> Let me ask you this. What's it like being a gay artist or a gay rapper? Do you get more love or you get more hate? It's psychologically crazy. Psychologically, break it down for me. Cause you, when you think about it, it fag it for themselves. Type yeah. of shit. That's this. It's the same fucking way. So, but when you got other people doing it too, it's kind of like it's other fish in the sea. Mm-hmm. When you're trying to, cause some people just want to be hood rich. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And some part, some people want to be actually you know. That, that, you know, far and beyond type of shit. Doing it with music. I'm. Let me hold my nuts on this one. Let me hold my nuts on this one. Cause <laughs> it's, it's just, when you when you uh when it's competitive and then when it come with hip hop, it's very competitive. Cause you, would you say you get more love, or would you say you you gotta like prove yourself more? I I would say since I'm from Memphis and I'm a fan. You got to prove yourself. That's yeah. what I'm going to say. Yeah. I don't know much to say, but this is just how we is when it comes to hustling. Mm-hmm. And when you got the hustle like that. So what can we expect from Project in the next year or two years? I would say selling records. It's crazy as they say. Selling records is like a real thing. But I must definitely want to get paid to go to an arena. I, I want to get paid for what I love doing. Years to come. Tell the people where they can find you again on all platforms. This it Project R T V on YouTube. P R R O J E C T R T V. This on YouTube. But if you wanna hit me up, this the same way on Instagram and it's the same way on Twitter. Cause it's all where I be. I don't be nowhere else. Uh keep the ghetto. <laughs> you got any more shout outs? You wanna shout out anybody? Uh yeah, I want to shout out um D Lo. That's one of the uh producers that I worked on with upcoming music. Yeah, shout out to him. Shout out to uh Brandon. Shout out to him. He 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 makes good music. Shout out to uh and that's it. Just continue to watch my stuff on YouTube. A P R R O J E C T R T B. So, so project you um, gonna, you gonna spit a little acapella for us today? Oh, damn. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, yo. Okay, bet, bet. Anything you want to say to close out with? For the fags out there, being your element hoe, I always make money. At the same time, I told you, you know, it fake for the silver, but bitch, no. I give you some word of advice, bitch. <laughs> yeah, and she got track. Yeah. This is the sit down and studio plug Memphis. With Project R. Yeah. What's your top five artists? Give me your top five artists. Project. Project who? R. Uh. <laughs> Project. We got to be known now. Yeah, Project, Project R. R. I'm trying to say somebody without saying Beyonce. Uh, Ruby Minaj. <laughs> Let me stop playing. Let me stop playing. No, but for real. Project. Lil Chick. Gucci Mane. Uh. 60 red. Well, hey, 
We out to the joint. This is the Project R interview. Sit down in the studio of Little Memphis. We about to go in here and shoot this acapella. Let's go. How the fuck you figure I ain't the motherfucker pimp when all these hoes be jocking me? Bitches be watching wanna know when a dropper got all these bitches stalking me. He love when I do it cause he know I do it better but all his hoes be mocking me. They hate to see me leave, they hate to see me coming but all you hoes be loving me. Sweet in the face, slim in the waist, big ass booty, I'ma get my bed. Chance talking about made me only feel better where well, I ain't type of nigga that's going out there. Price side is dated while that hoes be hanging, I ain't real by that hoe when the wifi lag. Hoes stop playing when they beam me up when I'm seeing your ass and it's time to go blast.